Hello everyone, this is Elephant TV. Today we tell you a story about how humans are a rare species, and the streets are full of vampires. The story takes place in 2019, after a massive virus outbreak the majority of people are turned into vampires. The humans who are captured are kept in captivity to provide blood for vampires. The beggars on the street are no longer asking for money but for blood. The hot girl holding hands are not milk tea but blood. This way blood soon became a scarce commodity. So the hero Edward as a blood expert was appointed by the boss to develop other liquids that can replace blood. But Edward's research has repeatedly failed. Edward was on his way from work this day. There was a traffic accident. He crashed into a car full of humans. And the human was being hunted by the police. As a blood specialist, Edward was trying to protect the scarce humans. Help them escape the police search. This approach also won Allison's admiration. A few days later Alice and reached out to Edward, explaining the difficult situation of the humans, hoping to find a trustworthy vampire to help them. After that, he left a secret meeting address and left. Edward's brother is a hunter who specializes in capturing humans. He quietly ambushed Edward and Allison at the meeting place. The brother was just about to strike. The official army was coming. They wanted to capture Edward, who had betrayed the vampires. Luckily, Allison and an older human man were covering for him. Edward escaped with them. After escaping the pursuit, they talked. The uncle said that he was once a vampire, but in a traffic accident, he was exposed to the sun and burned up and then fell into the river. And so he changed from vampire back to human. The vampires on the street were suffering from a shortage of blood. There was a massive unrest. Vampires were capturing humans more and more often in order to help the humans. Edward decided to do an extreme alternation of hot and cold. Finally, with the help of uncle and Allison, Edward also regained his heartbeat. He became human again. So Edward, Allison and uncle together they went to save the captured humans. Edward in order to save the humans. The first time he found his former assistant. This assistant looks like a bad guy. Edward's vision is not good enough. Sure enough, this assistant turned around and betrayed Edward and joined bosses together to Allison to capture. In order to save Allison, Uncle and Edward were discussing the measures in the small room. Suddenly Edward's brother rushed in. He had not drunk blood for a long time. He was already hungry. Bite at the uncle is a series of. This vampire is quite moral. If not his brother, he bites someone he doesn't know. As a result, after drinking the uncle's blood, the brother fell to the ground in pain. Edward then found out that the blood of the cured vampire is the antidote to make vampires become human again. Then the brother also turned back into a human. Then Edward came to the boss. He said to the thirsty boss, Let Allison go. Bite me. The boss did not hesitate to bite Edward and then also fell to the ground in pain. Turned back into human. Edward and Allison were about to escape. They were stopped by some soldiers who came to hear the sound. Fortunately, his brother rushed in with his own body to block the soldiers. And the boss, who was tied to a stool, became the dinner of the soldiers who came to support them. The soldiers who bit the boss fell to the ground in pain. Then came a large wave of support soldiers. They pounced on the army that had become human. And in this cycle, the vampires all fell. Edward and Allison, who had escaped, while watching the horrific scene, the very bad assistant was still alive. He was about to shoot at Edward when he was shot in the heart by the uncle who came after recovery. At the end of the story, Edward, Allison and the uncle just drove away. From then on, they set out on a journey to save the world. Well, the sharing of this issue ends here. You've seen it all. Are you sure you don't want to follow me? See you next time.